Rett syndrome communication and modeling is, is this kind of like a big package. We'll unwrap a little bit at a time here. Um, first of all, we have to go back to what language is. And language is a learned skill, it's a learned process. And how neurotypical children learn how to talk is they listen to us and they practice with their mouth all these different positions so that sounds come out. And when sounds come out that we recognize or wish we recognized as mama or dada, we say that. We say, oh, you said mama. And they start to learn to refine those movements that they're making accidentally to make language. Our AAC users will only learn to talk as well, communicate as well as we communicate with their devices. So today, the workshop that I was just doing was so wonderful because I've got parents, oh my gosh, modeling to each other. You're showing them, you're demonstrating, and you're giving them an opportunity to respond every time. So you're showing them how to put the language together. And what we're finding is if we teach people to do it and give them permission to do it and make mistakes and we get behind them and we coach them while they're doing it, they're going home and they're making a difference in their children's lives.